My name is Harmony and I'm a student at NHDI Concord's Community College. Well, I decided to go to a community college because it was close to home and really affordable. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do um, with my future yet, so I thought that a community college would be a great place to start because it gives you the opportunity to kind of try out a few different things before you have to choose a direction you want to go in, which worked really well for me. Um, I decided on addiction counseling and I'll be getting my associates this May and I'm applying to Keene State and New England College um, to transfer and get my bachelor's in secondary education with a minor in addiction. Well, I decided to go to a community college because it was close to home and really affordable. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do um, with my future yet, so I thought that a community college would be a great place to start because it gives you the opportunity to kind of try out a few different things before you have to choose a direction you want to go in, which worked really well for me. Um, I decided on addiction counseling and I'll be getting my associates this May and I'm applying to Keene State and New England College um, to transfer and get my bachelor's in secondary education with a minor in addiction. Well, a lot of my struggles, um, as I said before, were based off of not knowing what I wanted to do. But another big one for me was definitely the cost. Um, I grew up in a family of five brothers, and we're all about the same age, um, stepbrothers and half-brothers. So one of them was at UNH, the other one was looking at going to school the same time as I was. So that's my parents supporting three children through college. And so big colleges for me really weren't an option at that time, and the money was definitely a big problem. So. I mean, I filled out a million scholarships and um, signed up for loans as soon as I could, talked to a bunch of different banks about private loans and, you know, everything. So that was really important for me, and community college was definitely a great step because you're getting that college experience, getting your credits, but at a reasonable cost, so. Well, from the time I was really young, my parents always made it really clear that they wanted us to do whatever we wanted to do um, once we were adults. And my mom used to always say that if that was backpacking around the world, then that was alright. If it was going to school, then that was even better. But as long as we loved what we were doing and we were happy doing it, that they would be happy for us. Um, neither of my parents ever went to college. They both got jobs right out of high school and they were successful but I've always watched them struggle. So knowing that their struggles were so prominent in our family, it was really not an option for me not to go to school. It was definitely something I wanted. I wanted to have those successes and that independence and I wanted to be able to support myself and be able to later on support a family and that lifestyle. So. I mean, I think it doesn't matter what age you are. I think that it's always good to start exploring your options. Um, I wish that I had done it sooner. I, As I said, I waited till I was halfway through my senior year before I even thought about what I wanted to do. Um, I definitely wish I had done it sooner. But I don't necessarily think that you need to pressure yourself to know exactly what you want to do the day you step foot in high school. High school is a great time to take different classes, to learn about the things that you're really interested in and the different directions that you could go in. Not everyone decides to go to college and not everyone decides to go to college for the same thing. So I think that that's a great time to explore all your options. I think I've had multiple role models and they've changed throughout each step in my life. Um, my mom has definitely been a big one for me because she's always supported me in anything that I've done and she's always given me the ability to do whatever I wanted to do. Um, I think when it came time to go to college, my brother Mike was probably a big role model for me. He didn't go to college but he joined the military and spent a lot of time in the Marines and is now in the National Guard. So to see him kind of step out of that family box of just getting right out of high school and starting in the work field, that was definitely a big um, step for me to take too. And then now that I'm in school, probably my, um, my boss through my work study job is a huge role model for me. He definitely guides me in all the right directions, keeps me involved and active, and that's really important for a college student to keep themselves grounded. Um, college classes are a lot different than high school classes, first and foremost because you get to choose them. Um, in high school it's a lot of, you know, you have to take a math, you have to take an English, you have to take your science every single semester. And for college it's, you know, once a year you get to choose one of those classes. They don't all have to be at the same time and you're taking the classes that you really care about too during that time. Um, for me, I think the most surprising class was a sociology class that I took. I was never really into, like, 
science and culture and all that sort of stuff. And it was really surprising to find how interesting it is. And it talks about all the different cultures and their social cues and all that sort of stuff. And that was really interesting for me. So I think that in college you get um, the experience of meeting a lot of different professors. So in community college especially we have our adjunct professors who are professors that are working in the fields that they're teaching in and then we have our full-time professors, so people that are just teaching all day long. So you get those different dynamics and that's really nice. Um, I think one of my most interesting teachers was actually my architectural design teacher and he is from India and he you know, has a very thick accent and it's a lot of paying attention, but he's so smart and so funny and he's was always there for me and everything, and especially being, again, a girl in a field that wasn't normal for women to be in. Um, he was so supportive in everything that I did and learned and those are classes that I'll never forget even though I'm not going in that direction anymore. Um, I've always been a true believer that no matter what obstacles are in your way, there's always a way to get around them. Um, for me, that was definitely my parents had never gone to college. We couldn't financially afford to put all of us through college. Um, there's always different obstacles in everyone's way. The biggest advice that I can give anyone is to work with the people who are willing to support you to find ways around them. So if you have family that's unwilling to support you, in your college endeavors then you know work with your guidance counselors and your teachers at school work with your friends other family members um, if it's a financial standpoint then again financial aid your guidance counselors um, guidance counselors are huge because those are people who are there and want to support you in whatever you're doing so for high school students that's definitely a great place to be that's what they're doing that's their living they love to help the students get further along so I would just say that not to give up on your dreams, that's why they're there. I think that it's really important for um, students to talk with their parents about how they're feeling and I think that it's even more important for the parents to listen. So to understand um, where the student's coming from when they tell you what their goals and their aspirations are and to really support them no matter what your emotions and feelings are about it. Um, especially if they're you know, a student who's going to college and you never did or a student who wants to go to school outside of the state and you're you're not quite comfortable with that. Giving them that chance to grow will definitely help grow your relationship with them and I think that that's the biggest gift you can ever give them is that support and backup. So. My name is Harmony and I believe that all New Hampshire students can be college bound.